What's up you guys? It's Katie. Welcome back to Still the Spotlight. Today I'm going to be dressing like your Hogwarts house and I've wanted to do this for a really long time. Pretty much kind of think of it as though it's like a school for witchcraft and wizardry but you could also minor in fashion so there's no school uniforms but you do have to kind of dress in your house color or on theme for your house I suppose and I've wanted to do this ever since I saw Jimin's stage outfit that was like inspired by Slytherin. I thought it was such a sick look and would just be a really fun concept to play around with. I do think I saw um, McKenna do something similar like a few years ago. So credit to her, but my style is completely different. So I thought this would be kind of like a new take on it, I suppose. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And of course, don't forget, let me know in the comments what Hogwarts house you belong to. I want to see like whose house would be the biggest, I suppose. Personally, I am Slytherin, so let's get into it. Can I call your name? You will come forth. I shall place the sorting hat on your head and you will be sorted into your houses. First up, we have Hufflepuff, perhaps my favorite house of the bunch. And I really enjoyed putting outfits together for them as well because I love that mustardy sort of color palette. It always reminds me of more of a retro 70s sort of vibe. So I decided to play along with that sort of concept by styling this jumpsuit and also playing around with the white accessories as well. For Ravenclaw's first look, I wanted to keep it a very minimal, chic sort of vibe. I don't know, just the sort of person who would have the perfect capsule wardrobe. So I figured that styling a trusty old leather jacket would be perfect for them. And then of course I bought in some of the kind of colors of the house with the dark blue denim wash on the jeans and then also the plaid scarf for extra team spirit points. I've always seen Gryffindor as the popular house, so I figured they'd want to be dressed to impress for the first day back at school. So this does have a few more styling elements to it compared to the previous two, but for some reason I still cannot step away from that check plaid pattern and it is an ongoing theme throughout this video, so I'm sorry, but obviously it is very closely associated to school uniform, which I think is why I kept gravitating towards it. Okay, but we are actually ditching the plaid print this time around for some good old fashioned snake print instead. I know snake print for Slytherin, totally groundbreaking, right? But hear me out, I did actually wear a close variation to this when I went to Universal Studios in Japan and I absolutely loved how it turned out and there was just something fun about dressing up in your house theme while you're exploring the grounds. And also, if you guys have been to Universal or like any sort of Harry Potter world, then please let me no, do you prefer butter beer served cold or hot because it's an ongoing argument between me and my boyfriend at the moment okay round two for Hufflepuff and again one of my favorite looks of the bunch you guys know I'm a sucker for a sweater vest and they definitely give a instant varsity sort of vibe to the look but I tried to play it down just a little bit by throwing on the oversized cardigan a pair of jeans and of course the chunky sneakers as well just so it has more of a casual cozy vibe in the end while still giving a nod to that collegian aesthetic. Speaking of sweater vests, we find ourselves in one yet again, but this time around I decided to go all in on the schoolgirl sort of look by teaming it with the plaid skirt and the over the knee socks as well. Of course, can't forget about the glasses as an extra touch. They don't turn up so well on camera because the lights kind of reflect it, but in person I feel like they really make this outfit. And of course, as always, just trying to stick to the same colour scheme. Okay, I have a feeling that Gryffindor's second outfit may not be so well received, but personally, I love it. And my vision behind it definitely went back again to seeing Gryffindor as the popular student, but also this rich burgundy shade that they have always reminds me of the 90s. So I decided to take majority of my inspo from like a 90s it girl, which obviously is where the little unbuttoned cardigan moment comes in, but you could totally button it up or even leave it undone and wear something underneath. I think what really gives it the 90s feel though is definitely the accessories with the mini backpack choker and platform heels and then keeping the trousers in a plaid pattern still brings it back to that more scholarly level 
Finishing things off with my fellow Slytherin friends and this is a hundred percent an outfit that I would wear in a heartbeat and honestly that was the main thing I was channeling when putting this look together. Lately I've been really on board with the neon green trend but this t-shirt has totally convinced me to jump ship onto this forest green look instead and then just layering on as much silver accessories as I possibly could for some reason really made me feel like a true Slytherin. So that was just my interpretation of the houses in outfit form. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to let me know which house you belong to as well. Hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. If you do have any requests for other cool themes you want to see, then feel free to hit me up. Thanks for watching guys. Mwah.